So I get some notifications from my friends who are tagging me on Facebook and on Instagram on the same post. I go to check to see what's going on and it turned out it's a video of a guy who had a crazy animal encounter with a mountain lion. His name is Kyle. He's 26 years old and he pretty much just went for a trail run in uh, Slate Canyon in Provo, Utah, which by the way, it's an area that I'm very interested in hiking in. My motivation is that there are cheap flights from our regional airport to their regional airport. But anyway, he goes for a run and then he has this crazy encounter with a mountain lion, which probably at the time he, he did not realize it was a mountain lion, but it just went so viral. He was able to film the whole thing on video and um, obviously I'm glad that he's doing well, but I'm sure it was a very traumatizing experience. You are pretty much facing death. It's not, it's not a joke, it's a big cat, it's dangerous. But anyway, it kind of just motivated me to want to learn more about what to do in cougar country, mountain lion country per se. I mean, there are some rudimentary things that one should or shouldn't do, and we will see that in the video that he caught, but I kind of want us to do a little bit more reading and do a minute info type of thing just to kind of learn a little bit more about what to do in a similar situation. So, so let's go ahead and watch the video even though every time I watch it I feel like my heart starts racing like crazy. So we'll watch the video and then we'll do a little bit of reading about the area and what to do in mountain lion country. All right, let's watch this. All right, I probably go to his Instagram. I personally thought that what he did was really brave, the way he handled the situation. Go away! Go away! No! No! Fuck you, dude! Holy... Fuck, where's my gun? Okay. This is when I fucking die. Nope. Get Obviously, this video went viral and there are a lot of comments from people between those who are, you know, encouraging the guy and telling him that he did the right thing and then people who think that he offended the animal and then he deserved what he got, blah, blah, blah. And then people who think that he shouldn't have been running alone, he should have carried bear spray and I feel like all of that blah, 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 blah is kind of useless. But anyway, people like to, to talk and express their opinion and that's okay. Uh, but what I want us to do right now, there is a website called wild aware utah and it has a whole page dedicated to cougars and everything that one should know i want to do a little bit of reading here and i will share with you as we go all right be aware cougars welcome to cougar country some things you should know about cougars please take care to prevent cougars from becoming nuisance animal by not feeding wildlife on your property keep your pets indoor the cougar puma concolor is known as the mountain lion puma catamount screamer or panther so they kind of all fall under the same category. They live all across Utah from the high Utah wilderness to the dry southern deserts. In Utah, cougars prefer pinyon, juniper, and pine oak brush areas within these habitat types. They prefer areas where there are rocky cliffs, ledges, and tall trees or brush that can be used for cover, which kind of makes sense. They are easily recognized by their tawny color, white muzzle, and long tail. Adults typically weigh 90 to 200 pounds, male and female pair briefly for breeding, but the female raises the kittens alone. Kittens stay with the female until they are about a year and a half old, at which time they disperse to find their own territories. Cougars are solitary animals. They usually hunt alone at dawn and dusk. And that's one of the things that I read in the article that was released about this uh, topic. Um, probably if you know that there are cougars in the, in the area, you want to avoid hiking early in the morning or around sunset. So the main prey of cougars is deer. So they will be found wherever deer are. They will also eat elk, antelope, small mammals, and birds. The one interesting thing that I read earlier is that, um, if you happen to see a dead or killed deer that is covered by some brushes, that probably means that there is a cougar or mountain lion in the area. So stay away from that because that's the way 
for them to kind of um, hide uh, their prey. Well, not really hide, but just make sure that they cover it, leave it, and then come back to uh, recover it later. All right, after making a kill, a cougar will often take the carcass to the base of a tree and cover it with soil, leaves, or snow, saving it to feed on later. That's what we were just saying. Cougars, kitten, cougar kittens or cubs have blackish brown spots. So they're talking about their colors here and some pictures about their prints and their scat, which is also important to know. They have some uh, audio of the cougar's vocalization. Let's hear that. scary <laughs> okay this is the the important part that i'm interested in is preventing conflicts while recreating if you are on a hiking trail how do you prevent a conflict with the with the cougar do not hike or jog alone and uh, that's kind of one of the reasons why the hiking backpacking community they were kind of a bit of a hard time because he was technically hiking alone Travel in groups and keep everyone together, including children and dogs. Make noise while hiking to alert cougars of your presence. Pretty much the same with the, with bears. You want to make enough noise. Leave the area if you find a dead animal, especially deer or elk. It could be a cougar kill. The cougar might, may return and defend its food. You see that? Go back. <laughs> Turn away. Keep a clean camp. Store food and garbage in an odor free locked container or hung between two trees where cougars and bears cannot get it so same rules as in uh, bear country if you encounter a cougar all right let's read this one carefully so if you encounter a cougar stop never run from a cougar do not approach the cougar so it's exactly it seems like i think that's exactly what he did he was not running he was just backing away Maintain eye contact, pick up children and pets or keep them very close, stand up tall, do not crouch or squat. So if you crouch, you squat, um, kind of showing the animal uh, inferior to them. Make yourself look bigger by raising and waving your arms or jackets above your head. Talk firmly in a loud voice, back away slowly and leave the area. Fight back if you are attacked, protect your head and neck. Um, and I think that's one of the reasons why, I mean, having a bear spray would be good, but also the one thing that I personally try to always have is a knife. I mean, if you are being attacked by, I don't know, an animal or something like that, you do have something that you can defend yourself with. I mean, you can't avoid the damage, but it's just one way to, to do something, you know, instead of not having any, anything to help yourself with. If you are aggressive enough, the cougar will probably flee. If you have an encounter with aggressive wildlife, please alert the Utah Division of Wildlife Resources Office near you. If the encounter or sighting occurs after hours or on the weekend, please call your local police department or country sheriff's office who can contact a conservation office to handle the situation. And that's the information that they have in the website. I think it's very useful. And I kind of just wanted to share with you, those of you who are not familiar with what to do if you encounter a cougar. And um, really this is um, an important thing for new hikers whenever you are going to a new area that you are not familiar with. Like for me, I wouldn't know that there were a lot of mountain lions in uh, Provo, Utah, in this particular area. So every time you are going to a new area, a new state, a new national park, educate yourself, know more about the wildlife in the area. Usually at the trailhead, there are signs or national parks, you can talk to rangers. So just try to educate yourself as much as you can. So really glad that the guy is doing well. Um, he is safe. I'm sure it was a traumatizing experience and a very difficult six minutes, uh, but glad he's doing well. Other than that, you guys stay safe, keep on exploring, educate yourself as much as you can, and I will see you very soon. Take care.